This week on Money and Your Life, we spend time with Dean and Raquel who are planning their wedding. Supermum Raquel balances her time between full-time work and raising her 16-month-old son, Ethan. To relax, she takes time out to read a good book while Dean enjoys playing golf and when he can, uses his wood-making skills to create works of art like this. And Ethan delights in the simple pleasures like the family's daily walk. Raquel and Dean, welcome to Money and Your Life. To give me a good understanding, I want to know what actually led you to contact the show and firstly understand what challenges you're currently facing uh, with the lead up to your wedding. Well, I've just gone back to work after being on maternity leave for a year, so catching up on bills as well as trying to budget and plan for a wedding um, without going into debt over it. Okay. And Dean? Yeah, well, I just don't want to go into debt for the wedding because um, we need some money from the new motorbike. So what motorbike are you looking at? Uh, uh, good I'd, I'd like to get a Harley, but it's whether the boss wants one <laughs> to give me one. If he behaves himself, maybe? You know, I'll, I'll, when she had Ethan, we put it off. Yeah. And I wanted to get another one soon, but now that we're getting married, I've put it off again, so it won't be a third time. All right. Well, planning your wedding, guys, is, is all about happiness and joy, you know, not only for you, but your family and your friends. But you know, when you plan a wedding, there are challenges that you're going to come across in terms of you know, costs and a few other anomalies that will pop up in your life. But to make it simple for you, you know, with a basic budgeting exercise, we can make this all smooth sailing for you. How does that sound? Yeah, it sounds good. It sounds huh? really good. Now, the reason why you know, all couples should do this exercise purely because it gives the couple full transparency of what costs they're going to incur leading up to the day as well, on the, well as on the day because that gives you full transparency of whether or not we, you're going to actually afford the, the wedding day. Yeah. Now I know we've had a chat about these expenses earlier but what I'm going to do now is itemise each and every one of those expenses to give us something to start with. Okay? So the biggest expense you're going to incur is most likely your reception costs. So, Dean, how many people are you looking at inviting to the reception? Oh, about 85. 85. And Raquel? Probably about 100. 100. So you're looking at about 185 people all up at the reception. What costs are you usually getting now these days for quotes? I think the average price for a reception is probably around $120 per head. Okay. So at $120, let's chuck that into the uh, bills to pay calculator and work out what that actually is going to cost us. $22,000 just on food. Other expenses, hair and makeup? Um, about probably around $500. Um, that's sort of including me, and bridesmaids and yep. flower girl. Yep. Um, and cars? Um, I've got a quote for the cars that was probably about $250 per hour. So for three hours, about $750. Yep. Celebrant? Um, the celebrant we got through um, the wedding venue um, and because it was local it was a bit cheaper, so $400. Yeah. And flowers? What quotes are you getting now for flowers? Um, I haven't actually got any quotes for flowers yet. I'm a bit scared to find out. I think that once you mention wedding they become quite expensive, so I'm probably thinking around $1,000 for flowers. A cake? Uh, um, wedding cakes too, I think. You know, the price goes up, but and I don't even like cake, but yeah, I'm thinking probably around $500. $500, yeah. And photography? Um, it, I think it's going to be a couple of thousand dollars. Um, they usually have sort of packages depending on, on what you want to do. Yep. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do now, obviously we're going to tally up those expenses and work out how much this actually is going to cost you and give us something to start with. So let's strike those numbers in. So we've got $22,000 and $2,000 for your photography. Now that comes just over $27,000. Oops. <laughs> Hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> Most likely that number is obviously more than what you expected. So we'll try and trim down those expenses we just listed. And most likely the biggest cost there, you know, about 80% is your reception. Yep. So 
how many people can you take off in terms of second, third, fourth cousins that you'd originally had on the list and minimise the, the number of heads in the, in the room? Maybe if we look at about 100 is probably more realistic. Yeah, about 100. Between you both? Yeah. So remove 85 off the list? Yeah. So let's go to 100 at 120. So instead of having $22,000 worth of uh, reception cost, yeah, chuck it into the calculator again, and we've got $12,000. So you've just saved, just with one expense, $10,000. Cars and hair and makeup, can we try and minimise those costs? Yeah. You think? Maybe if we um, try and go locally and see if we can get a better deal, yeah. so for a group or something. So. So we'll try and minimise, you know, cars to say about 500. And hair and makeup. Try and find someone there that's got a bit of a brochure with a discount for you, about 300 bucks. Yeah. Celebrant, does he bargain? Can you bargain with a celebrant to give you a bit of a discount? Yeah, I don't, I don't think that one's negotiable, yeah. so. We'll keep him that 400. And then flowers. Yeah, well. I've got a friend who um, used to be a florist apprentice, so yeah. I could perhaps ask her if maybe she might be able to... Slash the bill at half? Yeah, she, yeah. And she might even know sort of a wholesaler where we could get flowers from. Cake? Um, I've noticed a few people have been sort of putting cakes and that on Facebook that they're doing them, so maybe it might be cheaper rather than going through an actual bakery. Okay. Try a friend. So you reckon a friend can give you a free cake in return as a present? Oh, that's a good idea. Right. So we'll slash that 500 and make that zero. That can be their wedding present. And mm -hmm. it helps you with your cash flow too. Mm -hmm. You have to pay them. And photography, $2,000. I'm sure there's someone out there that can do a better deal for you. Yeah. Well, I'm, I've got a friend who's just sort of done a photography course, so maybe yeah. if I sort of speak to her and see, she might be able to suggest something. Yeah. Well, so I'll look at another $1,000 then and, and slash $1,000 off. So we're looking at at $12,000 for your reception, zero for your cake. And in terms of savings, yeah, we're looking at saving potentially you know, ten to $12,000 there alone. There's your motorbike. <laughs> Great wedding gift. Mm. So what I'm going to do after the break is I'm going to invite our wedding expert, uh, event planner, Carmel Polino, who's going to discuss the lead up to that all important wedding day. Good. As we head to the break, here is this week's 60 second tip with Karen Wilson from theconsumer.com.au. One area that you may spend more money than you realise is by purchasing magazines. You may just throw one or two into your shopping trolley each week, but those costs can really add up. Why not consider creating a library with your friends where you each buy one magazine and then you get together regularly and swap? You could stay up to date and on trend without buying magazines at all, with lots of articles and blogs being written every day. There's information about beauty, fashion, wedding planning and even thousands and thousands of recipes. There are applications available that will collate new articles for you and you can read them on your computer, smartphone or tablet whenever you're ready. For more smart shopping ideas, please visit our website at theconsumer.com.au.